Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new rendezvous of What's in Store, where we receive today Romain Cornet, the Innovation Business Development Manager at Ingineco Lab, with whom we're going to speak about biometric authentication. It exists different authentication methods. We know uh, very well the facial recognition, the fingerprint recognition. Uh, but today we're going to focus about the palm vein authentication. Amazon has one. I mean, they use uh, a palm vein authentication when you go into their stores. Are we going to speak about the same kind of features? Are we going to speak about the same kind of, uh, of process? It's going to be a slightly different, so you could imagine Amazon, apparently from as far as we know it, uses the palm technology, so basically it takes a picture of your palm pattern, whereas we take, we go inside your hand and our technology basically uh, scans or takes pictures of your vein pattern. So, okay, before we start, why do we need an additional uh, biometric method? I mean, we have plenty, like, as we named them uh, earlier on, why do we need a new uh, biometric authentication? That's a good question. Uh, I'm not really sure we need a new or additional one. Uh, I think we need just a better one. So uh, as far as we know, we need a, a technology that could be uh, touchless or contactless. Because of COVID, it's quite obvious. But also, you've got to think of the accuracy of, uh, of the technology. And f above all the biometric technologies, by far, when I say by far, it's like a thousand times more better than all the other uh, biometrics. So Palmven is by far the best. So you will say that it's the safest method uh, that we know. Uh, is it going to replace the rest of the other methods? Uh, it's quite hard to say, but uh, we think at Ingenico that uh, this could be a good met method for, for payment. As far as we know, okay, we compare directly to, uh, let's say, a credit card payment. At the queue, you've got to take your wallet out of your pocket. Or the bag, yes. Or the bag or whatever. Then you've got to take your credit card out of the wallet. And then you've got to either tap or insert into the payment terminal. So the process of payment in itself is very short, but the whole experience is longer than just having to come, putting your hand above the device. How does it work? So first, you've got to understand how the technology works. So you've got to understand that it will take an infrared picture of your vein pattern, okay, yes. that is unique, to map all the, some data points. It takes more than 5 million data points to uh, secure the fact that you are unique. Then, how, how do we proceed? So you've got to enroll yourself on, uh, on the device first, so you're going to put your hand several times and take different pictures. It's just like, you know, when you, you enroll yourself on a face uh, recognition uh, camera, I'm sure you experienced this already. On my smartphone. On your smartphone, so it takes several pictures, etc. Here it's exactly the same. But, yeah, but where will you do that? Because uh, so, uh, on my smartphone I can do it from yeah. home. So basically it will be an enrollment station at the retailer. When you put your end, you will link your credit card to your and tokenize it to, and link it to your profile, basically. So once it's done, it's stored in a safe uh, a safe environment that is uh, controlled uh, by uh, our partner Fujitsu. So what you've got to imagine is uh, basically your vein pattern photo never leaves the, the hardware. So what comes out of it is something that is encrypted and really secure. So even if I, f I jump on your and I hack your, <laughs> your, your photo, it's just unreadable. Nobody can read it. So okay. nobody can link it to your, your profile. This is uh, really secure. And about the, the partnership that you have with uh, Fujitsu, right. uh, could you elaborate a bit more on what sure. Fujitsu brings? Because uh, we bring the hardware. Yeah, so exactly. So they bring also some hardware, a little piece of hardware, which is uh, a little device that enables to take the pictures and to uh, control, uh, the, to analyze the data set, okay, basically of uh, your hand uh, pattern, your vein pattern. Uh, and they also propose the software and they, uh, they propose also the cloud that will, uh, that will match your, the picture of your vein with your profile. So basically they, they are the one who are managing the, the data, uh, the biometric data. Uh, and the partnership, is, so at the lab we have a specificity, is basic, we have a lot of specificities, but this one is, uh, is quite major, I think. So we always come from a business problem and uh, technology just come to solve that problem, to puzzle out this issue. So uh, basically, we had to choose for this one the best 
in class and uh, that was willing also to cooperate and to, uh, to go into a partnership. And it came out to be uh, Fujitsu, which has been working on uh, Palm Vein uh, authentication for a long time. But at first it was more for getting into a building security. Yes, because it's not really new, but it's new in terms of payments. Exactly, exactly. Okay, thank you very much, Roma, for being very with us welcome. today and giving us uh, all these features about Palm Vein authentication. Maybe one day we will pay with our hands. Fingers crossed.